Hello and welcome to the scariest videos of 2021. what he thought was the scariest videos that he could find. And I want to react to them with you because who else to be creepy with than Selena Spooky Brew? All right, babies, I want to start this off by saying I ain't ready, okay? But I love you. You my boo crew, you my babies, and we're a community. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like, and let's dive in to some spooky shit. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. Mm. No, these always freak me out. truck is driving by today do something weird hilarious video i knew they were coming through woodstock and i put my bare ass against the windstone of my house but it didn't show up and i'm so sad that is terrifying i'm not okay with that that seemed very culty and very like we going to sacrifice some things we probably shouldn't sacrifice i want answers to my questions okay what you doing hmm? who you leading you are they of sound mind? Why a spiral? Okay? Spirals, it doesn't matter what you do with them. They are always terrifying. I found one on my wall in my basement. We know aliens do. They're calling the aliens home. On the scary meter, I give this a seven. Daddy, 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 hurry. I saw something scary. Oh. The world is screaming for you're going to wake the neighbors next door. There's a spider on my floor. Is it? And will you squish it? You call me in here in the middle of the night to come into your room and destroy life. Isn't that what they teach you in Sunday school? But daddy, it's gross. It's got a million legs, a billion eyes, a trillion eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I love abandoned stuff. I literally have an abandoned house on my arm. But like abandoned hospitals are a different level. I will go into a house, I will go through your family photos and I will reminisce with your memories. But I'm telling you right now, if you're like, hey, want to go in this abandoned hospital at night? Look at these blood samples. It's going to be a no from me. It's going to be a no. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away from it because... Why'd they leave the blood? Like, why did they at least pack stuff up and put it to the corners? They're just like, hi, we're gonna leave mid-procedure and never come back. Rest in peace. <gasps> did something bad happen? Something bad always happens. This is an eight. Oh, no, thank you. appreciate the art of that I really do but first how'd you find these what were you googling because the FBI is following you um and then you were like you know what I'm gonna do this I feel like this is something corpse husband would do I wrote him and he he's he liked my message I like this I'm gonna give this a five Guys, I'm literally freaking out. It's 3 a.m. And I just got a notification from myself. No! I don't know what the heck to do, oh my god. I'm literally shaking. That 
literally gave me bad nerves. Let's just unleash a little bit of my closed door problems. Um, I had, like, I have this podcast called The Haunted State on another channel now. Go download it. Called The Haunted State, as I said. And I had a phone number that people used to be able to call into. And this phone number, like, you call, it was like a 1 800, you could leave a message so people could leave their scary ghost stories. So this man <laughs> started calling, but then he started saying stuff. Then he started talking about stuff that was literally in my house. And then one day um, I was driving and this car kept following me and then I ended up kind of seeing him in a McDonald's. It got very scary. It got very scary. So he used to send me these messages being like, I can see you sitting at your kitchen table right now. And I would have been sitting at my kitchen table. So that's scary. I'm going to give this a fat 10 because I thought I was going to die. Okay, that is a 12. Um, we're just unleashing our trauma today. Okay, I can't handle the sound of knocking on doors. I literally have a sign on my front door that says don't knock on my door. Um, that's a story for another time. I think it's in a different video. That's not a story for now, but this is what nightmares are literally made out of. This is a 12 and I never want to see it again. That's a 10, I hated that. I never want to see that again. That made my whole body think that no thanks. Please go home, Elmo. You are not invited to my party. Okay, bye. There's no batteries. Chucky, say who? No, thank you. Unsubscribe. I am not going to pick you up from the yard sale. The amount of people that send me haunted dolls. I open up the package and I see them and I just look at my brother and I'm like, can you take this and remove it from my property? I don't know what it is about dolls that is so terrifying. I don't know if it's because they have faces or because like they're supposed to be the complete opposite of creepy. It makes them super creepy. I'm gonna give that a seven, okay? Cause unexplained. No, thank you. It's just so sad. That wasn't even scary, it was just sad. That was a good one though. That's not scary though. I'm gonna give that one a one. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, and I don't mean this in like a bad way, but uh, nothing scares me as much as some senior citizens. Have you seen the movie The Visit? I think my, my dog Max, who passed away in his older years, he had dementia, and he did the scariest stuff as a dog. And I remember seeing The Visit, and that is just, that is a no thank you. So for this, this for me is a 10, okay? Because that is what nightmares are made out of. Oh. Oh, there's gonna be something. I don't watch out.
that was so scary like it was kind of beautiful but that was terrifying no thank you mummy no thank you mummy <laughs> No. No, what are you? I want to go home. I'm home alone and I want to just go home. Okay guys, that was a nine and I am ready to end this video because that is enough scary movies for me. I hope you guys had a good time watching my video because I had a fun time making it for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe, hit that like, turn on those notifications because I like making stuff for you. But I won't do it unless you make me feel good about doing it. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? Like it, subscribe. Also, my book is coming out really, 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 really soon and I'm super scared and super nervous, but I hope that you love it. I seriously love you guys. No matter what's going on in your life, if it's bad, no matter what, everything can change tomorrow. Do not make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling. I love you, boo crew. Bye!